Hi, this is Kim from DesktopPublishingBusiness.com and this video will show some of the desktop publishing features of Microsoft Word. Now of course Word is a word processor, but there are many features of Word that will allow you to produce some pretty good looking desktop publishing projects like flyers or newsletters, greeting cards. Uh, we'll be looking at a few of what I consider to be the top desktop publishing like features of Word. We'll be uh, producing a bake sale flyer which will showcase some of these kind of graphic elements that can get you a pretty decent looking desktop publishing project. So let's get started. I have a new document open called bake sale flyer and I'm gonna get started by creating a canvas. Now to me a canvas is a good way to kind of make your word processor behave like a desktop publisher. So I'm going to go in and insert and I believe it's under shapes. I'm going to draw a new canvas that puts one up there and I'm just going to open it up and take up a pretty decent size of my page about the size that my text and graphics will be. Now I'm gonna, before we get started, I'm going to right click and format this drawing canvas and I'm gonna select for the layout in front of text. This will allow my canvas to be free moving. You see I can grab and move it around and I can get it centered on the page. You know it's selected when you see these little black guide marks and the kind of marching ants all around the canvas. I'm also going to format lines and color. And lines and color, color fill, fill effects, these are very good graphic options. Something that gives your documents good design elements um, with hardly any effort. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a color line. I'm gonna select burgundy and I want the style to be this kind of triple pinstripe, the six point weight. And that'll kind of anchor my space with my flyer. So now we have a canvas. Now this canvas is going to be the canvas for my flyer and I'm going to kind of draw all of my design elements directly on it. Similar to what a desktop publishing program will allow you to do. So let's now look at a header for our bake sale flyer. I'm going to use an auto shape. I'm going to use a pretty standard one. Although you see that there are many shapes to choose from. You should experiment with these shapes. These shapes uh, give you some good design elements to your projects. So I'm going to draw one on. I'm going to click on it and select it. You see it's selected. I have the green kind of anchor circle here. I'm going to select it and do a bit of formatting. I'm going to go back to my color fill. I'll pick up the burgundy that I used for my border. And now I'm going to go into fill effects. Fill effects are great. Quick way to add good design elements to your auto shapes and your word art, which we'll cover a little later. I'm going to just take the default, although you see here you can play with the gradient. One color, two color, they've got some cool presets here. I'm going to go back to one color and they have some shading styles that will let you control your gradient and I'm just going to select this standard uh, with kind of the black edges and the burgundy in the middle. It's going to give my text box a little dimension and it's filled in. Now I'm going to go in and add text. Let's just say come join us for a I'm going to highlight this text and format. I'm going to make it about 36 and I'm going to center it. So there we go. We've got a good heading. I'm also going to go back in, click here, and look at the text. I'm going to center it. This is available in 2007 and 2010. I don't think this feature is available in Word 2003, but the auto shapes and the fill effects definitely are. So now we have a nice header for our flyer. Let's continue on. The next desktop publishing like feature 
is going to be word art. And it's just going to let us do some creative things with um, words. So we're going to go insert. I'm going to click word art. I'm just going to click a standard. You see so many different design elements here to choose from. I'm going to pick a standard arc and just type my text. It's going to say bake sale. And I guess I'll put it at about, just put it at 40 and say OK. And it just kind of places it here. You see, I can freely move this wherever I want it. I'm going to put it at the top. And now I'm going to click and do some formatting. I'm going to pick up that same color fill of burgundy that I've been using throughout the flyer. But I'm going to keep the line that you see here. This text allows us to control the color fill as well as the line color. That line color is going to give us a little stroke element similar to what you'll find in a desktop publishing program. And I'm just going to leave the default here. So I have a nice arced bake sale text with a color fill of burgundy and a stroke of black. I'm going to go ahead and move on. And let's go ahead and add some clip art to this here because the clip art is what kind of makes it more of a desktop publishing project. I'm going to insert. I'm going to go to clip art. I'm going to pick something. Uh, that kind of signifies a bake sale like a cupcake. Here's a nice one. And I'll put this cupcake in. Now, when you use a canvas, your artwork, your pictures, your photos, your clip art, just pops right onto your canvas and you can freely move it around. It won't be in line like you were using the traditional desktop publishing, um, the traditional word publishing features. So this cupcake is selected. I see I have my green circle at the top. If I hover, I get a little circular arrow, which tells me I can rotate this image. So I'm going to hold my cursor down and just rotate it slightly outward. Just kind of give it a bit of a tilt for a design element. And I'm going to add a second cupcake just for balance. I'll add this one here because it's got a little bit of red to it that blends with our kind of reddish burgundy pinstriping and color fill. I'm going to shrink this down some just so it'll be about the size of our first cupcake and freely move it. Grab the circular arrow and tilt it outward like the first one. And actually, I'm going to click it and use my arrow keys to kind of nudge it to get it a little more where I want it to be. Good, there we go. So now we've got some pictures on our flyer. I'm going to keep moving and now I'm going to add a text box. Text box is definitely a great way to add free moving text, any size, colors, to your desktop publishing like projects. You see you've got a bunch of uh, standard some um, pre-formatted text boxes here, but I'm just going to draw my own. I'm just going to tell the details of my bake sale, and I'm just going to copy and paste some text to it. Click in the box and paste. And I'm just going to format, maybe I'll make this about 20, and center it. So we've got the details. So I'm going to format the text box and get rid of the line color because I don't want any color. I want this text to be just freely typed in. Now I'm going to add some more text that I kind of want to showcase what we're going to have at this bake sale. So I'm going to go back and use an auto shape. I could use any, let's use the rounded rectangle this time. I'm going to draw one out and I'm going to right click and add text. I'm just going to copy and paste some text I have here. And I'm going to select the text, format it, let's make it about 24 and center it. I'm just going to just Close, make the box a little smaller. And now, since I've used auto shape, 
I've got so many different formatting, design formatting options available. I'm going to go ahead and go with the burgundy color. There's a pre-formatted burgundy color fill with a gray stroke to it. I'll just select that. But there are tons of other different effects you can give it. Here's some 3D effects. Here's some shadow effects. Let's look at that. Maybe I'll add a shadow to it just for a little more of a design element. And I'm going to make my text white. There we go. So it stands out. And we're almost done. I'm going to add another text box. I'm going to select the text and just do a bit of formatting. I'm going to center it and make it about 20. I'm going to open up my text box some so I can see all the text. I'm using my arrow keys just to kind of nudge. I could also just click and drag the box around and move it, free move it if I wanted to. But I want it to be a little more precise, so I'm going to use my nudge keys. And I'm going to take this line off. And there you have it. Using Microsoft Word, we've used design elements and objects to make Word behave like a traditional desktop publisher. Come to www.desktoppublishingbusiness.com and grab the finished version of this flyer and use it as a template to get you going with using Word as your desktop publisher. Thank you.